little Lord in your vessel. Keep your lamb trim and burning. Put a little oil in your vessel. Keep your
journey with me this evening to John chapter number 12. John chapter number 12, I'm going to read from the King James Version, verses 27 through verses 33. Amen. A rather familiar passage of scripture. John chapter number 12, yes. verses 27 through verse number 33. In heaven you can say, Amen. Amen. Now is my soul troubled. Yes. What shall I say? Mm -hmm. Father, save me from this hour. Yeah. Yes. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Yes. Father, glorify thy name. Yeah. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it yes. and will glorify it again. Hallelujah. The people therefore that stood by and heard it said that the voice thundered. Yes. Others said an angel spake to him. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said, this voice came not because of me. Yeah. But the voice came for your sake. Amen. Now is the judgment of this world. Mm -hmm. yes. Now shall the prince of the world be cast out. Yes. And I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. If I be lifted from the earth. Yes. Will draw all men unto me. Yes. This, he said, signify mm -hmm. what death mm -hmm. he should die. Mm -hmm. And I, mm -hmm. I be lifted from the earth, mm -hmm. I will draw all men unto me. Mm -hmm. This, he said, signifying what death he should die. Mm -hmm. I want to preach from a subject entitled today, The Laying mm -hmm. and Lifting mm -hmm. yeah. of the Cross. Amen. Amen. The Laying mm -hmm. and Lifting yes. of the Cross. Yeah. Can we all say that? The Laying the and, lifting and Lifting of the Cross. Of the cross. You may take your seats in his presence. Amen. There is a distinct difference in the revelation of Scripture and the interpretation of Scripture. When a Scripture is revealed, a person can see themselves within it. The Scripture comes alive and offers application. On the contrary, an interpreted scripture presents the literal meaning yeah. of the penned words. Our text tonight should be revealed and interpreted. Mm -hmm. Listen to what Jesus says. And I, yeah. if I be lifted from the earth, yeah. I will draw all men unto me. Amen. This text reveals, suggests, mm -hmm. that men ought to lift up the Savior. Yeah. Lift him up in prayer. Yeah. Yes. Lift him up in our worship. Yes. Lift him up in adoration. Yes. Mm -hmm. Glorify him. Amen. Magnify him. Yes. Extol his name. Declare that he is great. Yes. And greatly to be praised. Yes. Yeah. However, my friends, if the scripture is interpreted, mm -hmm. not revealed, but interpreted and rightly divided, we must couple it with verse 33. Mm -hmm. Listen to Jesus. And I, yes. if I be lifted up from the earth, yeah. 
I will draw all men unto me. This he said, signifying what death he should die. In other words, the literal meaning of Christ's words has nothing to do with praise. Had nothing to do with him being lifted in song or in worship. Christ spoke of the intentional lifting yes, of that wooden cross. Mm -hmm. It was lifted from the ground. Yeah, yeah. He was talking about a lying down piece of wood mm -hmm. being erected and standing tall from the earth. Yeah. And if I mm -hmm. be lifted from the earth, yeah. I'll draw all oh, men man. unto me. My friends, Jesus knew that the cross that he was to be nailed on could not lie on the ground. The cross could not lay prostrate. The cross could not spread over perfect green grass. If salvation was to reach humanity, the cross had to be lifted. Pretty fast. The cross from top yes, to bottom. Yeah. No horizontal means. Mm -hmm. The cross had to be standing vertical. Yeah. The cross had to be lifted from the earth. The, earth. Amen. the cross was not lying down. Not positioned in green grass. Mm -hmm. Not stretched over meadows of ease. Mm -hmm. The cross was lifted. Yeah. I wish I had somebody to help me say that tonight. The cross was lifted. Come on, you got to say that thing with power and conviction. The cross was lifted. The literal interpretation of our scripture text tonight helps us understand what means Jesus had to die. The cross had to be lifted. If the liar and the fornicator mm -hmm. were to receive grace and redemption from their sin, yes. the cross yes. had to be lifted. To be lifted. Yes. Amen. And we understand all of this, Brother Edward, by interpreting the scripture text. Yes. But I must admit to you tonight that there are many other truths about Jesus yeah. hidden in the Old Testament. Yeah. These truths speak about his power mm -hmm. and his anointing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They tell us who Jesus would be, mm -hmm. what he would do, yes. how we could recognize yeah. him. Lord. Christians today say these are messianic prophecies. Mm -hmm. They begin in Genesis, yes. flow throughout many of the prophetic accounts. Yeah. Prophets of old spoke with great detail of Christ's coming. Mm -hmm. They spoke of the perfect work of the cross yes. with great detail about his coming yeah. and his great love and profound relation to mankind. Mm -hmm. Today, if you don't get nothing else, get this. Today, we know more about Jesus yes. because of what's written in the Old Testament. Yes. Somebody just missed yes. that. Yes. I said we know more about Jesus yes. because of what was written in the Old Testament. Yes. We know more about his Yes. His character. Yes. We know more about his purpose yes. because of Old Testament prophecy. Yes. Yes. Consider Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born. Yes. Unto us a son is given. Yes. And his name shall be called Wonderful, yes. Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of We know that he will be born as a male child. Yeah. We know that he will be born by immaculate conception. Yeah. We know that he will be born as a child so he could die as a man. Yeah. We know that no one could take his life, but he would give his. We know more about Jesus yes. because of what's written in the Old Testament. Yeah. Can I preach it here today? Yeah. Amen. We journey a little further. Yeah. Isaiah 53, amen. We, we learn a little bit more. Sister Charlotte, 
about Jesus Christ. The Bible said, who hath believed our report? Yeah. And to whom is the arm of the Lord yeah. revealed? He shall grow up yeah. as a tender plant. Yeah. A root out of dry ground. He hath no form, no comeliness. And, we, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty yeah. that we should desire him. Yeah. He is despised. Yeah. Rejected of man. Yes. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. Well, Y'all don't hear what I'm saying yeah. to you. Amen. And as it were, we hid our faces from him. Yeah. Amen. We esteemed him not. Mm -hmm. But surely, surely, yeah. he bore our griefs. Surely. Yeah. surely, he's carried our sorrows. Yeah. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded. Oh, I wish I had a church here. Yeah. For our transgressions, he, he was bruised. Yeah. For our iniquity, the chastisement of our peace was upon him with his stripes. Yeah. We healed. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. For all we like sheep have gone astray. Yeah. Turned to our own way. But yeah. the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is gone. Yet he opened not his yeah. mouth. Yeah. This yeah. prophecy helps us to understand yes. a little bit more yes. about Jesus. Yeah. I feel like preaching here, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We learn of his suffering. Yeah. We know just how dark that night would be for him. Yes. The gruesome pain he would endure. Mm -hmm. How men would despise him. Yes, how he would be refused. Yet he, he, he did not open mm -hmm. his mouth. Mm -hmm. The Old Testament prophecies here help us to understand a little bit more about Jesus. Yes. I ain't lost y'all. I'm going somewhere. All right. Consider with me Genesis 3 and 15. Say that I will put enmity between thee and the woman. Yes, sir. And between thy seed yes. and her seed. Yes. It shall bruise thy heel. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, God. Uh, but you're going to bruise his head. Yes. This prophecy of Moses helps us to understand the death and resurrection yes. of Jesus Christ. Yes. The devil would bruise Jesus' heel mm -hmm. by yes. killing him on a cross. Yes. However, the seed of the woman Y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you. Jesus Christ would return and rule the head of the serpent by resurrection after the third day. This gives us a glimpse into that victorious Easter celebration. And it's all because of the Old Testament. We know a little bit more about Jesus. I'm going somewhere in about time. Try, try to take us somewhere. Now. Look at Psalms 118 and 22. Mm -hmm. All right. The Bible says a stone mm -hmm. which the builders refuse mm -hmm. is become the head stone of the corner. Yes. Yes. This prophecy speaks about the rejection yes. that Christ Jesus would endure. Yes. Hallelujah. He would not be revered as their king. Yes. He would not be accepted as their Lord. Yeah. However, their disdain or their spurning of him uh -huh. would not change who he was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He would still be the head of the corner. Yeah. And even today, even today, regardless of what happens, yes. regardless of dislikes, yes. regardless of those that reject him, he's still the head of the corner. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you. Folk can speak against them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Folk can target Christianity. Yes. Folk can run his name in the mud. Yeah. Folk can still condemn him, but I came to declare today he's still the head of the corner. Yeah. Do I have a witness out there? Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus asked them a question one day. Yes. Did you never read the scriptures? <laughs> the stone which the builders rejected. The same has become the head of the... Jesus wanted to know, y'all must have read the book. Reject me if you want to, but, but the Old Testament already confirmed that I'll still be the head of the God, hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Jesus made it clear. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Old Testament had already spoken. Oh, 
Yeah. I'll be the head of the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Peter does the same thing in the book of Acts. He uses the messianic prophecy to combat the rejection the Jews had for him. Uh -huh. Y'all remember when Peter and John went to the temple, don't you? Yeah. They found a man there, amen, asking for alms. Yes. They had a conversation they, they with him. They went a little something like this. Look on us. Uh -huh. Silver and gold yeah. have I none, yeah. but such as I have, give I unto thee. By the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. Walk. The religious leaders got upset because mm -hmm. they thought that Peter and John had a power they didn't know about. Mm -hmm. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Amen. So they summoned Peter and John to Solomon's porch. Mm -hmm. When they got to Solomon's porch, Peter picked up, amen, the Old Testament prophecy. Yes, yes, he said, y'all men marvel not. <laughs> You're looking at us in our own power. Yes, we made this man to walk. Yeah. But the same Jesus yeah. that you crucified, yeah. the same Jesus, yeah. the stone which the builders. Yeah. Yeah. The same Jesus that you crucified, yeah. the same one God raised from the dead. Yeah. This man, stone that the builders rejected, yeah. have made this man. To walk. Amen, amen, amen. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying that we learn a little bit more about Jesus yes. just by reading the Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. But there's one thing, Brother Jerry, that stands out to me today in the Old Testament. Yes. The Bible says in the book of Numbers, chapter 21, I'm getting ready to get out of here. <laughs> but the Bible says in the book of Numbers chapter 21 yes. that the people of God, the children of Israel uh -huh. were in rebellion against God. Yes. God had delivered them out of Egypt yes. by way of the Red Sea. Yes, Swallowed up their enemies behind them. Yes. Gave them manna from heaven. Yes. Water gushing out of a rock. Yes. Turned their bitter water sweet. Yes. But these people we're in rebellion against God. Yeah. Complaining. Yeah. Mumbling. Yeah. Grumbling. Yeah. Bought us out here. Yeah. To die. Yeah. What if we took go back? At least we had quail and onions. <laughs> At least we could have a fish fry when we wanted to. We don't care about working all day. We, 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 we at least could have something to eat. Yeah. Moses, you brought us out here to die. Bible said that God got tired yeah. of them mumbling and grumbling. Yeah. The Bible said that God sent fiery serpents yeah. to eat of their flesh. Yeah. The Bible said that when the serpent came through and bit them, mm -hmm. he gave them a fever. Yeah. And ultimately the people would die mm -hmm. because they had been bitten by the serpent. Y'all yeah. yeah. don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. But the Bible says that, that, that once they got bit by the snake, oh, yeah. people started dying left and right. Oh, yeah. They went back to Moses and said, Moses, yeah. go back to the mountain. Yeah. Go back to the God that, that wrote in the tablets of stone and yeah. tell him. Yeah. Yeah. We need a remedy yeah. for this mess. And the Bible says, yeah. I told y'all I'm getting ready to get out of here. The Bible said yeah. that, that God looks at Moses and said, Moses, I don't have talent all and I have proof. I don't have antibiotics and morphine. What I want you to do is go back down there yeah. and the same serpent yeah. that bit the people yeah. right. 
Yes. Live the same rhythm. Yes. Still he speaks from eternity.
said, Amen. If you'd like to give, there are several ways you can give. You can give by sending your gift of any amount to Rivers of Life 2 in Cash App, Capital R, Capital O, Capital A, Rivers of Life, and the number 2. You can also give by going to our Facebook page and clicking on the Easy Tide link. And lastly, you can give by texting your gift of any amount to 910. 335-8663. Again, that number is 910-335-8663. And again, we love you. Happy Passover. Happy Passover, y'all. The cross was lifted. And when was it lifted? The same night in which Jesus was betrayed. We give a praise tonight. Father, we're done. We pray that God, what we said and how we worship would be pleasing in your eyes. Yeah, we ask that as we leave this place, but never your presence, that you would keep us in the center of your will. Forever come run us under your blood. Yeah. Now may the grace of the Lord and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be in our rest room and by his both now and forever. And we did all say amen. amen. God bless you. We love you. Stay tuned. Same channel. Two o'clock Sunday. It's resurrection time. Time to praise him. We serve a risen Savior. He's in this world today.